Cyprus is reportedly in talks with Israel to acquire Merkava main battle tanks MBTs, according to information published by the Israeli daily newspaper Haaretz on June 22, 2023. The MBT has seen four versions developed thus far, with the Merkava MK3 model potentially set for sale to Cyprus. An official from Cyprus, who remained anonymous, confirmed ongoing discussions with Israel but declined to provide further specifics about the potential deal or a timeline for its conclusion. In a recent interview with the economic daily calculist, Yoya Koulis, the head of the Defense Ministry's Export Coordination Department, disclosed that Israel is in negotiation with two nations regarding the sale of older Merkava II and Merkava III tanks, no longer in active service in the Israeli army. One of these nations, he hinted, is located in Europe. If the deal materializes, this would be a milestone for Israel as its first sale of a Merkava tank to a European nation. Despite public curiosity, the Defense Ministry has refrained from revealing the identity of the country Koulis referred to. Commenting on the negotiation, the Defense Ministry stated, due to the war in Europe, Several countries have shown interest in acquiring from Israel's reserves, including the older Merkava tanks decommissioned years ago. The discussions are ongoing, and no agreement has been finalized by either the Defense Ministry or the interested nations. The Merkava MBT has a unique history. Israel announced the development of the Merkava prototype in May 1977, and launched a series production of 40 tanks soon after. By 1979, the first production tanks were delivered to the Israel Defense Force 7th Armored Brigade, and were first used in combat in Lebanon in 1982. The MK-1 and MK-2 models received upgrades, incorporating components of the MK-3, excluding the 120mm smoothbore gun. The Merkava's design is unconventional, with the turret and fighting compartment situated at the rear of the vehicle. The hull comprises cast and welded armor, while the tank's structure offers protection from heat, high explosive anti tank, projectiles, and ATGWs, anti tank guided weapons. Initiation of the design process for the Merkava MK3 began in August 1983, closely following the turnover of the first production Merkava MK2. The inaugural MK3 model was then delivered to the 188th Armored Brigade in the spring of 1989. While the Merkava MK2 represented an upgrade from the original MK1, the Merkava MK3 presented a novel design altogether. The fundamental hull was extended by 457 mm, with the inclusion of extra fuel cells in the hull's rear. The basic turret casting saw an extension by 230 mm, with the comprehensive turret armor layout around the crew revamped to a modular design, thus facilitating future modifications and upgrades. The MK3 is armed with an Israel Military Industries, 120mm smoothbore gun that incorporates a thermal sleeve. The gun's ballistic properties are identical to those of the 120mm smoothbore gun installed on the American M1A1 and M1A2 tanks, as well as the German Leopard 2 MBTs. The tank accommodates 48 rounds of 120mm ready-use ammunition, stored in a drum situated on the turret compartment floor, thereby ensuring similar levels of protection as individual containers. As a secondary form of armament, the Merkava MK3 is fitted with a coaxially mounted 7.62mm machine gun, in addition to two 7.62mm machine guns situated on the roof. The tank also features a 60mm mortar, operated entirely from within the turret, capable of firing he bombs at anti-tank teams and illuminating rounds. On either side of the turret, the tank has the Israel Military Industries CL-3030 instantaneous self-screening system installed for combat vehicle use. The Merkava 3's armor adopts a unique modular design covering both the turret and hull, offering a significantly enhanced level of protection compared to the Merkava MK1 and 2. This modular armor can be replaced in the field, with newer systems replacing older packages when available. The Merkava 3's engine, a General Dynamics Land Systems, formerly Teledyne Continental Motors, AVDS, 1790-9 ARV, 12 air-cooled diesel, generates 1,200 horsepower and is linked to a new Ashot transmission. The suspension system, supplied by Ashot Ashkelon, is also a fresh design and consists of 12 independently mounted road wheels, six on each side, on trailing arms, sprung by pairs of concentric coil springs. The initial two and last two road wheel stations on both sides are equipped with a hydraulic rotary damper developed by SHL. 
the tank can reach a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour and a maximum cruising range of 500 km.